When they ask you about my life, I want you to tell them that we helped each other make movies and children, collages and murals and mistakes. We rode the train coast to coast solely for the sake of poetry. We drank sake from cough syrup cups, snorted cocaine off of pen caps. We slept in turquoise jewels and wore yushankas in the summertime. We held swings hostage and chain smoked in bunk beds. We wrote poems to never would be lovers through our marriages out with the pizza boxes. We recycled our old flames. We broke our only loaf of bread with geniuses, broke bones during mischief, went broke every payday. Every moment was a gamble, and we were spectacular in our glory. We made ends meet at pawn shops. We gave birth to great ideas on sticky tabletops. We aborted well-paying jobs for the coal mines of creation. Our blood ran thick with whiskey. Our tears were as flammable as gin. We nurtured our ailments with expired prescriptions and pipes stuffed with herbal remedies. We slept in stolen leather boots and tents in urban gardens, but we never got any rest. We shared bar stools with missionaries and raised a toast to mortality. We were taught to dance by men in six-inch heels. We dove into our midnights. We resurfaced at dawn. We adopted too many strays and shrieked unforgivable blasphemies at pedestrians. We nearly lost our lives at roadside truck stops, but they will never, ever take our souls. We were royalty who made our castles and shotgun studios and dive bars, hung our tennis shoes from street lamps to strike fear into the fair weather fraternity thugs. We marched for liberty, for freedom, for justice, for beads, face paint, and the chance to drink before noon. We twisted our tongues into adjectives, lathering every syllable with syntax. We apologized for vulnerability, for being born, being gone, being distant, being out. But we never apologized for art. We wore our bras like Monday morning and we fucked like Friday night. We scraped scraps together to make presents on holidays. We threw our lighters into bonfires to deflect from our own internal combustion. We rode our bicycles and filed bankruptcy. We smoked and popped pills far beyond the diagnosis. We ate chocolate in bed. We fell in love in karaoke bars, made love in front of other people. We grew homesick for cities we had never visited, feared today as much as tomorrow. We fought epic, merciless battles with partners whose names were tattooed across our chests. Yes, we immortalized their effect in ink. Permanent. Hesitation was as negotiable as hair color, but we could not afford to risk forgetting that once in our lifetimes we had known profound unconditional love. We took everything for granted. We doctored our heartache with fine linens, our betrayal with revenge, our uncertainty with astrology. We sacrificed our lunch hours for stanzas and our consideration for chances to become relevant. We pooled our gas money for falafel and fine point pens. We shared toothbrushes, suicidal thoughts, funeral pews, Christmas Eve. We celebrated half birthdays. We loathed matrimony, rituals, and obligations, lest it came as a command in our dreams. And then in gratitude to the muse, we obeyed unconditionally. 
When they ask you about my life, tell them I was kidnapped by a memory, memorialized by kindness and controversy, scandal and integrity. I, I wore all the colors and I lived in all the worlds and there were none I liked better than the ones where I was loved. Love, love was the best part about my life. There was nothing better and nothing else worth mentioning. When they ask you about my life, I want you to tell them it was worth every minute.